Welcome back to the channel, the Kooks. Today we are here with Ike, and he has one of the dopest vans I've ever seen. It's like a Swiss Army knife, and he's gonna let us check it out. Yeah, so this is my 2006 Sprinter, T1N. It's got 240,000 miles on it. It's the, uh, the 140 wheelbase. Um, it's my baby. I love it, I love it so much. Um, I did all the paint on the outside myself. It's like a Raptor liner. I sprayed it through a different gun to get a nice, fine texture. Um, of course, you need the KO2s because you need the van clout, you know. <laughs> um, got these really nice projector headlights. Um, took a while to find those, but it really made the van look alive. Put a new face on it. Um, these old vans really deserve some love. They run forever. Um, so I'll show you the inside now. All right, I guess we'll start up front. We'll go front to back. So in here, this sliding door keeps so much heat in, like so much heat. Um, and I did it kind of offset so that the swivel seat will still work. And then in here, I have my dump valve right there. Another light for the inside. This is for the backup camera. Um, but I reupholstered all this just to make it a little better. Ignore that. Up there, I'm trying to hide some of the cushions and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is all fully insulated inside too. So like I said, it keeps a lot of heat out. Um, nice storage in here. Got the yoga mat, blankets, foam roller. Um, I stuff a little more in there, but you gotta make use of all the dead space. And then over here, got a microwave. Because heating up food in a van without a microwave is like, takes a long time, it's annoying. <laughs> and then, I guess we'll go here. This is my, my mirror. So you can see yourself when you're waking up all ugly, living in a van, taking your fake showers. Um, this is an underbody fan, so it brings in air from underneath the van. Because the air underneath the van is shaded and a lot cooler um, than all the air around the van. That's my water gauge. It's kind of fun to watch going up and down. Inverter switch, battery monitor, um, water heater timer. So you can just set it to a certain time and it'll shut off once it gets there. Onboard air compressor. Um, so I have an air tank mounted underneath the van, um, and then some air trucks inside and in the garage to blow out sand, fill up tires when you air down your tires, um, fill up mountain bike tires, one wheel tires, everything you need air for, I got air. <laughs> Filtered water, I got a 0.2 micron filter there, and then normal sink, soap dispenser. Um, and then in here is my cleaning stuff, my pee bottle. 20, 20 pound propane tank in there um, and I actually have a fan that's routed into this fridge box to keep the fridge cool it's on a temperature sensor and it keeps the fridge working efficiently um, got these flip up leaves super satisfying and then they're held by a magnet so they don't rattle around sorry I, just, I can't hold it <laughs> feels really good um, this is my toilet I'm not going to open it because yes I use it every day sometimes five times a day um, I love it. <laughs> that just slides back on like that. And in here, it's a little messy. Don't mind that, but this is all of my like components and electrical stuff. And here, this is just a false cubby. Had to make use of all the dead space. Um, fuse panel, breaker box. Everything you need to access is pretty much here. Um, this switch right here, if I ever like if my van battery ever dies in the middle of nowhere. I could flip that, and then, yeah, my van battery's charged again, and I could start, so you're not stranded. Um, water heater with quick connects, so if you need to winterize the system, you just unscrew these, dump the water heater upside down outside the van, drain all the water out, um, underbody fan right there. Um, and the cool thing about all of this is that it's actually heated, so my heater is right here, and about 70% comes out into here, and it's ducted inside of this whole cavity. And I have fans that kind of pull the heat throughout the whole bench. So I slept in like negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit um, and the water was toasty. Didn't even need my water heater. <laughs> um, that's huge in vans. Like, yeah, you can have a heater, but if things aren't arranged right, um, the water's still going to freeze. <laughs> Lots of little cold spots in vans because you're in a metal box. Um, and then here is more of my electrical system. Let's hope this comes out. Oh, yeah. So. That's where all the batteries are. I have 210 amp hours of lithium, um, 60 amps of DC to DC, 30 amp electron charge controller, Kotec converter. Room for one more battery if I want. Got the Lion Energy 105s. Um, I ordered all this through Light Harvest Solar. 
They make things very easy. You just tell them what you want. They send you all the wires, all the lugs, all the breakers, fuses. It's so easy. It's awesome. Thank you, Late Harvest Solar, for saving me from brain damage. That's cool. There we go. Um, yeah, another air truck right here. Air hose hooks up there. Blow out all the sand and stuff. Um, and then, yeah, these are my cabinets. With all my clothes and stuff. Yeah, let's see these latches. Oh, you like the latches? Yeah, RV Labs latches. Super satisfying. Oopsies, mm -hmm. sorry, good. camera. <laughs> um, and yeah, these are my windows. The Arctic Turn. Um, don't know what they're called. Just Arctic Turn windows. I'm not gonna open this one right now because my door is right there. Sometimes it hits, but every night, that's all I have to do. It's awesome. So just do these. Do my front divider. Um, and I'm stealth. It's awesome. I don't like chores. This van was built to not have like any chores. That's a lot of work. You live in a van, you do those things every day, multiple times a day. You gotta save time. So that's really nice. Um, and then, yeah, usually, so yeah, usually this green wall is up. But right now we're at a festival, so I'm trying to show off all the features. But um, you can actually sit on it because it's a uh, it's all steel framed out and very supportive. So you can hold a few people, I think. <laughs> That's my backyard. I have to cut my grass once a week. <laughs> it's fake grass. <laughs> um, yeah, more storage under here. All my ski stuff is just buried in here for now. And then, actually, yeah, under here, it's all dead space. So I plan on doing a little indoor shower where this pulls out, this top part flips up, and you pull a curtain around you around the skylight. So you have like an endless ceiling to shower because showering in a van is always super tight and annoying. So I hope that's a pretty good shower. And then, yeah, so right here, little electrical cabinet um, or like device cabinet. Got charging ports right there. And then this is a gravity fill um, for filling up water in the winter time because all the spigots are frozen. So if you don't have that, you're going to be struggling to try to find water um yeah and there's a heater outlet like i said before this is a gross little garbage can don't need to see that <laughs> and then all of these are kind of built around specific things like this is a perfect dimension for an instant pot it slides right in there um, same with this I had to fit the blender and then this is all like adjustable shelving because you never know like what you're gonna have so it's nice to be able to change things up Pots and pans, and then kind of random things. And the bed. I guess it's time for the bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, where is the bed? I forgot. And then I... So I got these two slide locks right there, and then that just goes down just like that. And then normally I have another piece of wood that fills in this area, and the backrest of the cushions goes right there. And it's basically, basically a queen. Um, you can say whatever you want, but it's big enough for me, maybe somebody else. Um, and then this over here is a nice like wardrobe area. Um, I keep my pillows here when the bed's up. Um, that's my hamper. And then right here I'm going to do some cool like wardrobe kind of thing. Just trying to feel out the van, see what belongs there. I'm only, I've only been in here for like three weeks. Um, so, still adjusting, organizing, getting used to things. This is my, my nightlight. I love that thing. It's so nice. <laughs> and more outlets right here for, for bedtime. Um, yeah, we can put that back up now. Um, I think that's it for the inside. I got my cool hangboard right there. Keep the fingers strong for climbing. Stretch out the back. Do what you gotta do. Um, alrighty. I think that's it. Check out the back. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and also, I mean, it's hard to see on the video, but he's got this nice, clean, amazing woodwork here. You don't see this every day in a van build. Especially a 2,000 or 240,000 mile T1N. Yeah, the kooks can really appreciate this, and All the handle he's really thought of everything here. Very impressed. Yeah, it took me like a month to plan everything. I like made a huge list of like everything I needed, like seating four people inside um, with all the windows closed for those nighttime hangouts. Um, to fit a mountain bike, two eight foot surfboards, which you haven't seen yet. 
um, and just all the toys and just have enough space for everything. Um, I basically went back to that list whenever I came up with a new idea to make sure that um, it still worked. Yeah, my brain was like, <laughs> took so much work to figure this out, but uh, I figured it out and I couldn't be any happier with how it turned out. And he's got this mega skylight. Oh yeah. The skylight pops all the way open. Sometimes. There we go. <laughs> Goes all the way open like that. You'd actually climb through, peek your head out, check the surf. Usually I keep it locked in right there though. Sometimes I forget to put it down when I'm driving. Now I'm a, I'm a kook in a van driving around with my fan and my skylight open. Just another van <laughs> kook out yeah. here. Alrighty, time for the garage. Yeah, let's do it. And these go in there, just like that. And the whole garage is paint matched to the outside of the van. I had extra paint, so I was like, yeah, might as well make it look good. Um, this is how the bike goes in. Oh, I'm so sorry, bike. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so the pedal has to be like perfectly right there to line up with the door. I have a hole in the door panel, so it fits. None. Yeah, usually it screws in, but <laughs> it's okay for now. So, this is the garage with everything in it. Um, I think I can fit two bikes. Haven't tried it yet, but bike, skis, pretty much every activity you want to do. Um, you can add any hooks, they all kind of slide around left and right. It's all T track, so you don't have to drill holes for new hooks. That's super cringy in a nice van. <laughs> um, got a nice little skateboard rack. I could actually fit two wave storms without fins. Just have one now. I'm um, still learning how to surf, so I'm, I'm a coot, guys. <laughs> Team wave storm, represent. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sweet. What else do we have? Right here is my outdoor shower. Pops open just like that. That is my, my city water fill. And then onboard air, so you can. Thought of it all. Stuff. Dang. Yeah. The van that keeps on giving. Yeah, it just keeps on going. Um, I believe that's it. All right. Yeah. Well, you did an amazing job. Thank you. We love this thing. This is, her name is Patience. It took a lot of patience to figure everything out. Um, but we're here now, <laughs> and it's awesome. Uh, I recommend to anybody who wants to build a van. It's very overwhelming at first when you try to like think of the finished product. Um, just set like super tiny goals every day, and then every day you'll be happy because you got something small done. And then over time, those tiny goals just add up and add up and add up. And then like six months later, a year later, two years later, whatever it is, you just get this finished product and you could appreciate it. And yeah, stay calm, <laughs> take some breaths, and trust your process because. It'll work out, I hope. Awesome, and where where can the people find you? Yeah, so you can find me um, at Ikey Baker, um, I-K-E-Y Baker, um, on Instagram. And yeah, lots of cool stuff coming in the future. I'm excited. This is my third van, so many more to come. Right on. Well, thanks, dude. Thank you. It's amazing.